What? This is impressive. I really like this. Dye sublimation is where it's at. So clearly this is not zinc. Zinc is only the the photo paper itself, but this is like this is like it. Welcome back guys. It's Theodore here. Oh, my lens is dirty. One minute. One minute. I'm back from my travel. I went to Oregon to go visit my sister. Capacity to a tailored approach by aircraft type in by cabin. Look at this. There is no button. And now I'm back, and I do have a huge Black Friday haul that I want to share with you guys. But first, I want to share with you guys the current situation of this room. Originally the bed was over there. I kind of moved it over onto this side and now I have this long desk that I bought from Facebook Marketplace. And I plan on having a separate office aside from my room because my room right now is like my bedroom and also my office and I work in there and I edit in there for like hours. But I kind of want to change that. I want to have a separate like uh, Microsoft computer. So I bought one. Um, if you guys didn't know, I actually had a gaming computer made by iBuyPower, and I bought it a couple months ago, and it's a great computer, but it was like, it was weird because it was like already used, and like there was a name of some guy on the box, and I knew it was used because I saw fingerprints on the computer, so I went and returned that computer, and originally what I wanted to do with that one was do a little gaming, and then do a little streaming, and... Just like a lot of stuff, and I don't have a Microsoft computer. I only have Mac computers at my house. I'm a Mac person. I love Mac. Everything I have is from Apple. So that is why I decided to buy this one. This one is actually on sale right now from Costco. It's like $6.99 right now. $200 off, y'all. And it's 16 gigabytes with one terabyte um, hard drive and 256 SSD, which is not bad. But I kind of want 32 gigabyte memory, so I might have to upgrade that. Anyways, that's enough of me talking about my computer and my little room. The purpose of today's video is I have been eyeing this for a little bit, like for a little while, maybe for like a month. I've been seeing it around. It's called, what is this even called? It's called the Polaroid High Print. Now this is supposed to be something different. It's not supposed to be a zinc printer. It's supposed to be a dye sublimation type of printing. Now I have really, I don't know, mixed feelings about zinc printing just because zinc, when you print on zinc, the color isn't true. It's more blue, I've, I've mentioned that before when I was reviewing the Kodak um, camera that Kodak sent me, and the colors were just kind of off. So I was really hoping that I could buy a printer that would print more true colors, and I saw this Polaroid high print on the Polaroid website because I was checking out a lot of the stuff on the Polaroid website and for Black Friday, and nothing really caught my eye. I basically have all the cameras aside from the foldable SX70 camera, so I really wanted to try this guy out, and it looks really promising to me. Um, I bought it for $100 on Amazon, and the film was $16.99 for 20 prints. Um, not bad, but I think that might be a little bit more expensive than zinc, but it does look more promising, and it does look better than zinc, I think. Uh, I don't know, I have really high hopes for it. I hope that it works the way I think it works. And so yeah, we're gonna be testing out this today. We're gonna be taking pictures and then printing them. Voila. Before we get started on doing that, I wanna say thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sending me jewelry pieces again, but this time not for me myself, but for my friends or family. I decided to give those pieces to my sister and my nieces while I was in Oregon. Merry Christmas! Oh, oh happy you. 
birthday, happy new year. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> what is Anna Luisa? If you guys don't know what Anna Luisa is, Anna Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that focuses on making unique jewelry pieces out of recycled metals. Now, I really mean it when I say unique because they only make a certain amount of these jewelry pieces. So if you see a style that you really like on the website, you better purchase it fast because next time you go onto the website, it might be sold out. You won't find many, many people wearing these pieces. So that's a good thing because they don't mass produce these things. And that's what I really like about them. They're not like some cookie cutter brand that mass produces a ton of jewelry pieces. They make like small batches of things. And then once they're sold out, they're sold out. And then the people who have the luck of buying it are the only people that have that. Okay, I decided to sit down because that sunlight was not forgiving. So right now, Annalisa is having their holiday sale. If you buy one piece, you get the second for 40% off in the US and also internationally. And if you live in the USA, if you purchase over $150, you get a free jewelry case. Treat y'all. Treat yourself. <laughs> Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> I can't do that southern accent. <laughs> I'm too Utah. Is that even a word? Oh my god. Um, anyways, I highly, highly recommend that you guys take advantage of Ann Luisa's biggest sale of the year and treat yourself to some beautiful, beautiful, sustainable, and high quality jewelry pieces and treat your family, treat your friend, treat your neighbor, treat your neighbor you don't like. I don't know, just anybody that you want in general. I've been wearing these pieces for a very long time and I freaking love my bracelet. Been wearing it nonstop ever since the day I put it on. And they look so chic and it makes me look so much more sophisticated because I'm actually, I'm such a nerd and such a hipster. I don't really do much and I, my wardrobe is like a black shirt, black pants and black boots with a black coat and occasionally like a white bag, but these really make you stand out a little bit more. So highly, highly, highly recommend. And if you guys have friends or family, you haven't bought gifts for them yet, go buy them this. They will love it. And my sister loved it. My nieces love their jewelry pieces. If you're not done with Christmas shopping yet, this is the time to do that, okay? So that is it of my spiel of Anna Luisa. Thank you so much again, Anna Luisa, for sending me these jewelry pieces. I love them and my sister and my nieces also loved them as well. Let's get back into the main point of this view. I mean, this, this video, the main point, the main, the main. Um, As I was doing nothing, I was downloading the app and I'm having a hard time downloading this app because I actually forgot my password. What is my password? By the way, thank you so much everybody for your birthday wishes. Yes, I just turned 17. I can't wait to drive. Um, <laughs> if you guys all know me really well, um, I've actually already graduated college. If you've been following this channel for a really long time, you guys all know like I'm ancient. I'm basically uh, a freaking rock in the ground um, I'm I'm old okay so thank you so much for um, wishing me happy birthday and all of that because I really really appreciate it I don't get many happy birthdays anymore because I don't go to school anymore so I only get it virtually online from you guys or uh, my friends or Facebook and that's pretty much all the birthday wishes I get and so thank you so much for that uh, but yes I am 17. I'm not gonna tell you guys my real age. Ugh. Anyways, I gotta remember this password, so forgive me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is the app. You have to print this app in order for this camera to work, but the app is made for ages four and above. So I am clearly in the below part. So yes, I'm only three and a half. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I can print my photos and stuff. Sorry, that was like my whole camera roll and I have a lot of pictures of nudes on there. Nudes, <laughs> I can't even say it. I have a lot of nude pictures on there, so can't show you guys that. 
but this is the camera that I got for $100. No, it's not even a camera, it's just a printer. So yeah, I really hope it works because it's expensive. We're gonna do a really, 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 really quick unboxing and I'm just checking to see if that's my address. No, that's not my address, by the way. Just a whole bunch of specs. Okay, uh, here is the camera. I'm gonna unbox it really fast for you guys to see. Shoot, I need a knife. I'm very particular with the way, oh shoot, I broke it already, uh, with the way I open my boxes because my boxes, I like cherish them because I'm Asian. I actually have a box of boxes in my basement that has a whole bunch of boxes of my cameras and all my tech stuff because, you know, resale and stuff like that, you know? Okay, I'm Asian, okay? Like, leave me alone. I just like to keep my packaging. But um, this is the thing. Okay, okay, cute so far. Nothing else in there. There's a, like a little user manual. Okay, I'm liking it so far. Feels good in the hands. Did you guys give me? No sticker, okay. No sticker, y'all. Okay, I gotta deduct like minus 0.5 points or something. But um, it comes with a printer. Less that. Okay. Okay, I need to scoot over a little bit more. I only bought one package because it's $16.99, guys. For 20, 20 pieces, I think. 20 uh, pictures or something like that. Okay, I think I'm like a little hyper. I drank some ginseng earlier and now I'm just hyper. I think I should do it more often, not gonna lie. I'm actually more interesting this way than I am when I just talk, 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 talk. Oh, whoa, what is this? Whoa, this is so cool. Okay, has like a little ink roller thing on the top and the film paper right here. Okay, Um. so what if I don't run out of ink? Can I just put more photo paper inside and just keep on printing forever? Yeah, because this is basically just photo paper, right? Oh, how do I open? How do I open? Oh, okay. So this is how it opens. You open it from the side that says Polaroid. And then on the side, there's like a little lever thing that you open it up. And then you slide it in. Okay. So clearly this is not zinc. Zinc is only the, the photo paper itself, but this is like, this is legit. Okay. I'm gonna just try to turn it on. Okay, and I'm gonna connect it to my app. Okay, so it says it's supposed to update, but I can't do that right now. So I'm gonna print. I'm gonna hold it and print because I'm at a very weird angle and I don't have a desk. So I'm gonna print out my birthday cake. So this is the picture that I want to print and it's telling me there's a transparent image or something, but um, it's telling me I should crop it and stuff and this was me on my birthday i wasn't here to actually get my cake and i'm gonna print it out why do i have to update it oh my gosh why are you so picky i need to update it before i can actually start one minute all right we're under my net my desk now because um i need to connect it to the outlet but here is the, the printer So it looks like it's updated and it's starting to print or something. The paper will move in and out of the printer four times. Please do not touch the paper while printing. Okay, so I guess it goes through the RGB type of coloring. What? What? This is impressive. I really like this. I'm actually really impressed by this, guys. This is really impressive. I honestly didn't have much expectations about it when I first saw it on Amazon or on the Polaroid website. I thought it was just like some other zinc printer, but it's not. It's actually a lot better than zinc. Really close to the original picture that I have on my phone. This is really, really good. I'm really impressed by this, guys. It looks so good, and it's credit card size. Um, I really wish Polaroid would come out with a bigger format, because as you guys all know, I like 
really big format. Pictures like a 4x6 or something like around that size is a really good, decent size. Um, the film is kind of pricey, but I mean, for an image this good, it, it's actually really worth it. I highly recommend that you guys give this this uh, camera printer a try. Was that a camera? No, it's just a photo printer. Okay, so that's it for me today, and I'm just honestly very, very impressed with this photo printer. Um, probably the best out of all the photo printers that I've ever, ever tried. I've tried the HP one, Kodak one, this one is it guys dye sublimation zinc heat printing is okay but dye sublimation is where it's at heat does not affect it at all so that's a good thing um if you, especially i had I had some people asking me because they live in the philippines they were wondering if this will affect it at all of uh, zinc if zinc will change color over time and obviously it will because it's heat um, activated. If you live in a hot place and if you li leave your picture out in a hot area, it'll affect it. But dye sublimation, guys, will not get affected. So that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and make sure that you guys go check Annalisa's website out. Um, and that's going to be it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you guys did, please do give a thumbs up. And then also make sure to check me out on my other socials at It's Theodore on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, WordPress, Facebook. Did I already say that? Anyways, that's going to be it. And I will see you guys next time. Next time. Adios. Adios.